everybody, and thanks for joining us for the October Wine of the Month cooking demo today. Today we're going to be pairing our 2019 Napa Valley Syrah with one of our deli marketplace favorites, our blue cheese and almond stuffed dates. So as we move into fall, we're shifting our cooking demos to something a little bit more rich. This goes really nicely together. The wine starts with a fruity beginning and ends with a nice peppery finish and blends really nicely with the creaminess of the cheese and the sweetness of our dates. And these are gonna be wrapped in applewood smoked bacon. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take the tops and the pits out of our dates and I have a little trick for it so that way your knife does not get stuck. So you're gonna take your paper towel and dip it in a little bit of oil here. And I'm just gonna run it on the blade of my knife on both sides. And that's going to help to keep the dates from sticking to your knife. I'm going to remove the tops of our Medjool dates. You can use other kinds of dates for this as well. I like the Medjools. They're a little more firm and it's uh, not too sweet. So I'm going to take my paring knife and I'm just going to make a little slit down the center here, not cutting all the way across, just enough to open it up. I'm going to take out the pit and we're going to set those aside. So I'm going to go ahead and D pit all of these. You can use the olive oil on the knife, not only for dates, but also for other sticky uh, substances that you may have to cut. So I used it also for dried figs and apricots. Now that we've gone ahead and taken all the pits out of our dates, we are going to stuff them with a couple of almonds. The almonds I'm using right now are salted roasted Marcona almonds, which are the exact recipe that we use in the marketplace for our dates that we sell. So I'm gonna take two Marcona almonds and put them right inside the date. I'm gonna go ahead and do that with each of them. You don't have to use Marcona almonds, but they have a nice buttery flavor. It goes very well with this entire dish. So now all of them are stuffed with our almonds and they are de-seeded. The next step is we're gonna go ahead and stuff them with a little bit of blue cheese. And the blue cheese I'm using is a St. Agar creamy blue, very reminiscent of a gorgonzola. And we're gonna use our spoon to just go ahead and put a little bit right on top. Don't worry if you have some peeking out, we're gonna be wrapping these in bacon so they will be nice and tight. Okay, now we are pitted and stuffed. I'm gonna go ahead and set these to the side on the cutting board and bring over our applewood smoked bacon. So you're just gonna take, it's about a pound of bacon. Uh, your preference thin or thick sliced bacon, thick you might have to cook it a little bit longer. This is a medium right here. We're gonna go ahead and cut that in half. And then I'm going to wrap our dates with the bacon. And we have some toothpicks here. Just gonna take the toothpick and skewer it right through. We're gonna go ahead and put them onto a fine grated uh, cookie sheet there and go ahead and wrap all of them. Nice and tight, secure with your toothpick. You could also use prosciutto for this. And then we're gonna pop these into an oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and bake them for about eight to 10 minutes and then turn them over and then bake them for an additional eight to 10 minutes, depending on how thick your bacon is cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in. So we are gonna pull these bad boys out and give them a flip over with our tongs. Okay. Any kind of cooking rack I think would be great just to make sure that the, the fat drains off of the bacon. Okay, now I'm gonna pop them back into the oven. We're gonna go ahead and do 10 minutes. Um, right back in the oven. Same temperature, 350. Awesome. Ooh. 
Just be careful when you're pulling them out of the oven because you got that grease floating around on the bottom there. Going to use our tong to put them in this nice little serving dish. Take some chives here. Just going to cut them into little batons or little half inch pieces and sprinkle them right over the top. A little color. And it also goes well with the flavors to cut a little bit the sweetness and the creaminess of the blue cheese and the sweetness from the dates. I think now it is time for us to try one with our paired wine. I'm going to just cut this in half so you can kind of see what it looks like after it's been cooked. And it's very nice. We got our date, crispy bacon. We've got the nice melted cheese on the inside. Very nice. You get the crispy from the bacon. You're getting a really nice sweetness, almost a brown sugar type sweetness from the dates. And then the creaminess of the cheese and a little crunch from the almond. It goes so nicely with the wine. It hits you first with a little blackberry, a little plum in the middle, and then it's got a really nice peppery finish, which cuts through all of the sweetness from the dates and the cheese. So I think this is a perfect intro to fall. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today and cheers to fall flavors.